How's it going folks? It is Matt back with another Digibyte video. Today I got several big announcements to make. There's been a new wallet that has integrated Digibyte. There's been a new USDT pairing with Digibyte on a major exchange. I got a major update to the iOS wallet uh, for the Digibyte mobile wallet coming soon and an update surrounding the UdoCrypt mining algorithm that is going live later this month. As always, this video is brought to you by ChangeAngel.io, the swap exchange for social good. And while we're talking about social good, Change Angel is currently doing a charity fundraiser. Uh, proud to present to you the Ecstasy Bitcoin Angel AP1 edition. This is the artist that has created this picture. And basically, they are selling $5 tickets for your chance to win this painting. Uh, they are available for purchase on Crypto Bon Tom's website. I'll provide a link to this in the description so you can purchase your own ticket if you wish and the five dollars that you are spending is going to three separate charities the first of which being the little eddie foundation i won't go into too much detail on what these uh, charities are but i'll provide links to them so you can do your own research uh, the second one being war child uh, they basically are helping children in war-stricken areas. And then the third charity is pennyappeal.org, and they're aiming to do thirst relief. So those are three pretty solid charities. So again, there will be a link to this in the description. It's a $5 ticket for your chance to win this painting. I think it's pretty awesome, and I'm definitely going to buy a ticket. Whether I win or not, it just feels nice knowing that the $5 is going to uh, basically help children somewhere in the world, whether they've been stricken uh, with war going on in their area or uh, severe drought and lack of, you know, like running water or uh, this foundation, the Little Eddie Foundation. So getting into the news, I have a uh, pretty big update for VIDT. I know this isn't really Digibyte related, but they do operate on the Digibyte blockchain as one of the blockchains that they upload their documents to. So uh, basically, VID is looking to get on the Binance chain, and there's this Medium article that talks about it. I won't read all the way through it, kind of talks about uh, what VID is. Most of you are probably already aware, uh, but you can feel free to do your own research if you're not. Again, I'll provide links to everything that I'm talking about in the description, uh, but basically a look at why VID is looking into the Binance chain, the transaction costs, thrust, and potential of Binance chain could improve security, cost effectiveness, and ease of use. With our integration into Binance chain and potential listing on the Binance DEX, we also see great opportunities to expand our reach, exposing our platform to new communities, and discovering new partnerships. So that would definitely be a big deal for VID and their native token, VIDT. Uh, them operating on the Binance chain does not mean they would stop using Digibyte's blockchain. They currently use four separate blockchains. I believe it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, LTO Network, and Digibyte. So this would kind of be the fifth blockchain. And that just adds security for all the documents if they are being uploaded to five separate blockchains. Uh, basically, someone would have to hack all five of those blockchains simultaneously to alter a document in some way, shape, or form, which, uh, let's be honest, that's... Uh, essentially impossible to do so. So another look into why this decision is being made. The decision allows for us to enhance interoperability between the VIDT validation token and the Binance chain. VID has carefully considered the best options for collaboration with many digital asset exchanges and decided on the Binance chain as the right liquidity partner for the VIDT token. With the creation of the VIDT BEP2 token, VIT, or VIDT will be tradable on both the Ethereum network and the Binance chain, giving token holders an added dimension of liquidity and privacy. So this article just kind of goes on to talk about what is the Binance chain, talks about what is VID a little bit more. Again, I'll provide a link to this in the description, but it's uh, good news. You know, I definitely hold a little bit of VIDT, so I'm excited to see them continuing to make partnerships and continuing to expand and continue to develop. As this tweet says here, uh, they are started testing the API version 3 together with a new inter or IOE partner and fiber network provider. And uh, basically this new API will allow for a fully automated system of validating and verifying digital files. I think that'll definitely help onboard even more partners. They certainly already have a major list going, but once this API is live and the whole system can be fully automated, I think it's definitely just going to 
benefit VID and the VIDT token in the long run. So getting into the wallet that has now integrated Digibyte. This is Zelcore, and they tweeted it out yesterday. Uh, welcome Digibyte coin to Zelcore. So I've went to Zelcore uh, website. It's uh, zel.network. There'll be a link in the description. And it appears similar in concept. You know, it's different, obviously, but it uh, reminds me of like an Exodus wallet where it's a, a desktop wallet, supports multiple different cryptocurrencies, and they have a built in exchange, uh, etc. And they are uh, looking to be extremely private. Uh, the Zellcore keeps your assets safe with support of over 100 assets, uh, including the major ones, Bit, or Digibyte now included as well. So uh, it's just exciting to see more ways people can store, uh, more ways people can buy. Speaking of ways to buy it, the new USDT pairing for Digibyte is on the Poloniex exchange. A little late to the game on this announcement as well. This was tweeted out yesterday. Uh, but it's been a busy couple days. So uh, this was Polynex yesterday tweeting out introducing seven new USDT uh, and Tether pairs on Polynex. And uh, again, Digibyte has been paired with the USDT. And looking at coin market cap, uh, when you go on Digibyte, uh, looking at their top exchanges, you can see Polyonex is the number three exchange in terms of volume for Digibyte on a daily basis. And this is only showing the Bitcoin pair. So I don't think they've added the USDT pairing yet, but I expect it to uh, you know, be up here at top three, top five in terms of volume for Digibyte. So one of the last things I wanted to talk about, this is a big update for the iOS mobile wallet for Digibyte. Uh, this is Yoshi. He tweeted it out yesterday, said, no, you had to wait a very long time. Proud to announce the Digibyte iOS app version 1.0.9. It's now being submitted to the App Store. Big features like an address book and Dandelion support will be waiting for you. So he provided a full list of what all this update includes. There will be Dandelion support. There will be the address book, uh, custom spending limits, DigiID enhancements, design improvements, 3D touch support, iOS 13 preparations, haptic feedbacks, today extension added, support menu items added, drop the, necess or drop the necessity to sync. So that's that's kind of big. I, I've seen complaints in the past where people uh, complain that when they open the wallet, they got to wait a couple seconds for it to sync to the blockchain. Uh, he added the backup URL, added for the Digibyte Explorer, uh, dark keyboards, DGB rate added, and many bug fixes. So it's a big update. Uh, I did hear in the core chat that uh, this app is actually created for iOS version 13 and apparently that is not supported in the App Store yet and they're expected to end the beta testing um, sometime October, September. So uh, there's basically two options at this point. They can either basically downgrade it to uh, the current version of iOS and it make it available or people are going to have to wait until uh, iOS 13 is fully launched and live before this update will actually be available. So last thing I wanted to talk about, this is a tweet from Jared Tate. It's talking about UdoCrypt. Uh, remember we needed that 70% acceptance uh, for it to actually go live when it hits block 9,100,000. And Jared Tate is saying that that has officially taken place. We now have the super majority of the Digibyte blockchain. Uh, UdoCrypt is showing 74.2% acceptance rate, so that's big. That means uh, on or around July 19th, whenever Digibyte's blockchain hits block 9,100,000, the ASIC resistant mining algorithm UdoCrypt will officially be live. And I'm definitely going to be picking up an FPGA rig here in the short term. And when this is live, I'm going to start some mining some Digibyte. So that will wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.